In this video, I am going to create a custom subtool palette. So I have a subtool open. If I go to my tool subtool palette, you see that I have several subtools with several groups. If I do an auto collapse, you see that I have one group, a second group and a third group. And turn off auto collapse for the moment. And I'm going to create a custom subtool palette that I can open in my screen. The steps it takes are really simple. They are the same for customizing your UI. So first let me open the left tray. I'm going to close my tool palette. I'm going to go to preferences and drag that over here. Go to config, enable customize. Okay, then do custom UI and create new menu. I'm going to call it subtools. Click. Now you see a new palette has been added or a new menu item over here. I'm going to click and drag it to my left tray. I'm going to open my tool, subtool palette again and simply going to control, alt, click and drag the first subtool into that palette. Then let go and also going to control, alt, click the slider over there and also in there. Now I'm going to stop my enable customize like that. I can close this one. So now I have a new menu item, subtools and it's over here. So I'm also going to assign it to a key. So control alt click on it. And I'm going to press Alt-A. Zebra says that this hotkey is already assigned, but I'm going to override it. So now when I press Alt-A, I have my subtool palette over here. Now you see, there is only one subtool visible, but my slider is actually tiny, so I can scroll. And each time I scroll further, one of the subtools is being displayed. So I've named them 001 to... 009 and the first one is actually called DEL but I forgot to rename it so that's the first one two three four and so on until nine and the advantage of this is let's say that I select this sub tool and I want to turn off its visibility then I can alt click on it now it's selected but now I have to go to my right tray to tool sub tool palette and click over here and select another one and now it's invisible. It's much easier if you have other palettes open to just select a subtool and with the custom palette that I've created now press Alt A click select that one and you see that one is now hidden. And another advantage is if you are working with groups so I have several groups as I've shown you before, if you turn on auto collapse, now when I press Alt A, I get my subtool palette. I only get the subtools for the active group. So, and also the other groups. So I have my first start group, then that first subtool in that group, or the second tool in that group, the third, the fourth, and the fifth. And now, Oh, the 50 is another group, actually. So the 50 is another group. That's another group. So if I select, for instance, that third group now, you see that the slider also resized. So now it's only, it gives me the groups. The third group, the second group, the third group, and the subtools in it. And this is actually really nice for toggling of visibility of subtools without having to go to your menu. So simply press your shortcut key. If I press shift on the I icon and turn off all other subtools, and now we can only work on this one. Alt A, shift, I icon, everything else is unhidden. If I want to unhide the first one, Alt click on it, Alt A, press the icon, select my subtool. So Alt A, just like that very convenient.
Hope you liked it. Bye for now.